Right, just a quick video. I've just come back from my local beer shop to uh, pick up some beers. Couldn't get all the beers that I wanted because some of them haven't come in yet, so I've got to pop back in a couple of days, which is very unfortunate for me and my uh, bank balance because it means I'll probably end up buying more. But anyway, here's what I've picked up for the moment. Got a kernel. Mosaic, another kernel, which is Bearded Table Hersbrooker. Another kernel, India Pale Ale Galaxy. India Pale Ale Black, which is Simcoe, Centennial, Chinook and Zeus. Uh, table Beer, which is Nelson, Sobin and Centennial and Mosaic. And a kernel Pale, which is Amarillo, Ella and Centennial. And I've also picked up this, I've been wanting to pick it up for a while. It was quite pricey, but I read a little bit about it, which is an Italian beer from a brewery called Amacord. Uh, and it was, I think the recipe was done in collaboration with uh, Garrett Oliver, I think it was. That's a thing then, yeah. And um, also, we've got. A local brewery to me, which is Twickenham Ales. They've finally started bottling in some beers up, so we've got their Daisy Cutter. I've got Dr. Hexter's Healer. Uh, the reason I picked it up, it was in a book that I've just purchased, which is uh, by Roger Potts, 300 more uh, great beers to try before you die, and that was in there, so I thought I'd give that a go. So they seem new out. Uh, got a couple more Thornbridge. I think that's Halcyon. Uh, and Kill Your Darlings. They're meant to have Zara in there, but they didn't have it. Uh, another one I picked up because it was in the beer book, which is Cubanero, which is a cerveza, but it's like a, just a Brazilian lager, but I've read good things about it, and it's also in the um, 300 Greatest Beers Try Before You Die, so I thought I'd pick that up. And the last but not least, this might be saved for a one of my Christmas beers. I'm building up a Christmas collection. It's a Vivat Triple, 8.3%. I thought the bottle was really cool. It's a nice cork through the cage and that. So I'm looking forward to that. And while I was in there, because they had them on the counter, and I thought I'd ask if I could have one, I got a nice Erdinger beer mat. Which was quite cool. As I said, there are a few more to come, but um, they're not in yet, so yeah, I've got a few to last me, but I'm, I've decided I'm going to start building up a few beers for uh, Christmas, kind of do like a, a 12 days of Christmas, some, some real fine ones, and pick 12 really kind of nice ones, and then 12 days just before Christmas, I'm going to crack a bottle each night and, uh, you know, celebrate before Christmas kind of thing, so anyway, cheers. Also, I forgot to add that while I was there, they do have car scales, and I picked up two pints of Twickenham Ales Naked Ladies, which I uh, can't wait to crack into, because I've never actually managed to get it on the, uh, the pump near where I live for some reason. Probably don't go out enough. I'm always drinking at home, but anyway.